The Holy Tales. Well, today I'll be going to tell you the story called Hezekiah's Illness. Great! So what are we waiting for? Start with the story, Holy. All right. When the king of Judah, Hezekiah, fell ill, prophet Isaiah came to visit him. He said to Hezekiah, The Lord asks you to get your life in order because you are going to die from this illness. Hearing this, Hezekiah prayed to God, crying, Remember, O oh Lord, I have tried to be faithful to you. I have tried to obey you and do what is pleasing in your sight. Hearing his prayers, the Lord sent a message to Hezekiah through Isaiah. The Lord said, Go back to the king and tell him, This is what the Lord, the God of David, says. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will add 15 years to your life and save you and the city from the king of Assyria. The Lord will cause the sun's shadow to move 10 steps backward on the sundial of Ahaz, and that will be the Lord's sign. Sure enough, the shadow of the sun moved 10 steps backward. Wow! I wonder what the day must have looked like. Hmm. The Holy Tales. Today's story is called The Special Request. Everything was going well in the kingdom of Persia, and the people loved the new queen Esther, until the second most powerful person after the king called Haman and started creating problems. He enjoyed power and demanded respect from everyone. So, he passed an order that all the officials in the kingdom should bow to him whenever he passed by. Everyone followed except Mordecai, the queen's cousin. He refused to bow to Haman even when the other officials challenged him. The officials went to Haman asking him about what should be done to Mordecai. Haman knew that Mordecai was Jew, and the only way to get back at him was to kill all the Jews in the entire land. He convinced the king against the Jews. The king allowed Haman to kill all the Jews, but he was unaware of the fact that the queen herself was a Jew, and that Mordecai and she were related. When Mordecai came to know about Haman's plan, he went to Queen Esther to see. Esther came up with a plan and invited King Xerxes and Haman for a dinner. Haman was extremely pleased to be invited for the Queen's dinner and felt very important, especially when he was invited second time over. But when he was leaving from the dinner, he came across Mordecai who still refused to bow to him. He was extremely angry. His wife and his friends suggested him to build a gallows and hang Mordecai before his second dinner invitation. Haman liked this idea and ordered the gallows to be built. That night, the king couldn't sleep, so he requested the book of history of his kingdom to be read to him. In the book, he read about Mordecai and how he saved the king from a conspiracy against him. Right at that moment, Haman came to seek permission to hang Mordecai on the gallows. But before he could ask his question, the king asked Haman, What honor should be given to a man who truly pleases me? Haman thought the king was talking about him when he was actually talking about Mordecai. Haman suggested that the honored man should wear the king's robe and ride the king's horse through the town. The king liked the idea and said, I will do that for Mordecai. 
Heyman, make sure that happens for me. Heyman did everything as per the king's orders, but was not happy about it. The next night, at the dinner, the king asked, My queen, what can I do for you? I will do anything. Queen Esther answered, If you really want to please me, save my life and the lives of my people from the order that has come from your palace to have us all killed. Who would dare pass such an order? The king asked. The queen pointed at Haman. The king was so angry that he decided to have Haman killed in the same gallows which he had built to kill Mordecai. This is how the queen saved Mordecai and all the Jewish people in the kingdom. That was so evil of Haman. Good that his plan backfired. I am happy. Ha <laughs> The Holy Tales Today's story is about shepherds visiting baby Jesus after his birth. Well, that sounds interesting. The night Mary gave birth to Jesus, some shepherds in a field outside Bethlehem had an interesting experience. Later in the night, when the night was dark and quiet, the shepherds were watching over their sleeping sheep and protecting them from harmful animals. Suddenly, they saw the sky light up with the presence of God's angel. The glory of God filled up the whole sky that it was as light as daytime. The shepherds were amazed when the angel of God spoke to them. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful news for you. The angel said, God's son is born tonight in a little village of Bethlehem. He is your savior, Christ the Lord. You will find him wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in an animal's feed box. The shepherds were even more amazed when a whole choir of angels filled the sky, singing the Lord's praises. When the angels left, the shepherds were filled with excitement. They hurried to Bethlehem looking for the baby the angels were talking about. They found a baby lying in a feed box, just as the angels had said, in a little village in Bethlehem. The shepherds were amazed and they told everyone about the baby and what the angels had said. Mary listened to everything they told about Jesus and kept all of that in her heart and mind. The shepherds then returned to their work in the fields and they praised God and sang of his glorious gift. That was indeed a wonderful story, Holy. Thank you. I am glad you all like the story. We'll be back soon. Keep watching. Till next time, bye bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.